How's it going guys? This is going to be a short, quick video. I want to show you guys some of the stuff that I have for camping and fishing that came in today. It is pretty cool, man. I've been waiting for this. I've been waiting to get it for like six months. I've been talking about it. You guys know that. So I finally got it all and it's here today. Look at all them Christmas decorations over there and people spend some mega bucks, man. I'm telling you. So let's head in the house and I'll show you what I got and what I plan on doing with it. And we'll go over a little bit about how much it costs and uh, stuff like that. All right, most of you guys know I've been talking about, you know, needing to get a fridge freezer and a solar panel and a solar generator and some cooking ware and stuff like that for camping when I camp out on the beach on Padre Island. Or if I go up in Austin in the hill country and go fishing at Lake Travis or Georgetown or Inks or something like that. I have the stuff I need to be able to eat out there and keep my drinks cool and stuff like that. So finally, after all these months of talking about it, I finally got it and it's here. First thing I got guys was the Iceco 43 quart refrigerator freezer. I've had it running for probably about an hour now. It's down to 27 degrees and I have it running in eco mode right now. And you guys can see it's not pulling any, any watts whatsoever. My solar panel was fully charged or my solar generator was fully charged when I started this and it's at 84%. So it's very, very, very quiet. I'm gonna open it up and show you guys the inside of it. It's got a blue light there, and I can feel how cold it is coming out of here. It's got a little tray here where you can put stuff. You don't have to use a little dry storage area if you wanna keep something cold, but you don't wanna get it really cold over here. It's pretty sweet, man. It's got some handles on it that you gotta install. It's really nice. So let's put this thing in uh, max mode and see if it kicks on and see how many watts it uses. So let's go ahead and move it down some. We're going to move it down to minus 8 degrees so you guys can see how many watts this thing uses. Alright, we got it on minus 8. Compressor should kick in in a minute. There we go. And this is the Flash Fish 330 watt solar power generator. You could plug it in to charge it or use a solar panel. My solar panel hasn't gotten here yet. It's gonna be here on Wednesday, but I got a 100 watt solar panel for it. So right now it's using 58 watts. And you guys can see how quiet this thing is, man. If you're out there camping in a van and you're worried about how loud this thing's going to be, it's very, very quiet, man. And this is on max mode here. Pretty quiet. So right now we're about at 25 degrees, so we're going to put it on eco mode. Let's see how many watts we're pulling. Now we were pulling about 58 watts on max mode. It looks like we're going to be pulling 40 watts. 40 watts. That's not bad, man. This thing is, is pretty, pretty nice. I like it. It's got plenty of room to store. Uh, anything you need to cook fish out there, you know, like uh, onions or, you know, cilantro and uh, butter and you know, even frozen things, if you want to take some frozen little dinners out there, I don't know how you're going to microwave them, but you know what I'm saying. Pretty nice. I love it, man. So far. And this little thing right here, I read a lot of reviews on the Flash Fish 330 watt and this Ice Co. Uh, the one that I originally wanted to get was a lot more expensive than this. I wanted to get the Dometic, but I can't afford $1,300. So this will do just fine. And then, of course, we got... Flash Fish 330 watt solar generator. You could power it, you could plug it in, charge it, or you can use your solar panel when you're out there at the beach and it'll charge. So when we get out there on our first camping trip, I'll have that solar panel out and we'll see if it'll be able to run the refrigerator freezer the whole entire time I'm out there. The next thing I got guys is I got this Coleman 
I got the cheapest Coleman two burner stove. I think it was like 50 bucks. I want to try it out first and make sure that I like the brand and then sometime we might get a better one. So guys on this Coleman stove here, I've got I've heard a lot of good things about it. It's only it was the cheapest product. Well, the pans were kind of cheaper than this, but 50 bucks. So I figured I would just spend 50 bucks on the first Coleman stove I've ever had and see how I like it. And then maybe we can upgrade at a later date. I'm gonna be cooking a lot of different things out there. It ain't just gonna be throwing a fish in a pan and cooking it. It's gonna be actually making some really cool meals out there on the beach. Whatever I catch is gonna go into the pan. I'm gonna have all my ingredients in the refrigerator freezer gonna be pretty sweet guys it really is I mean I cannot wait to get out there then we got the five quart cast iron Dutch oven uh, for cooking like if you're gonna if you're gonna make some crab out there catch some crab and cook that or whatever you want to do with it and then over here we got the, the four piece cast iron cook set I was just gonna take it I was thinking about how to clean these things and I said well I'll just take it down to the salt water and just clean it in the salt water well you don't want to do that with cast iron you want to put it on the fire and boil some water in there and clean it oil it down with like some vegetable oil after you're done getting it clean and stuff like that i'm glad i researched that or else i would have ruined them this thing this iceco refrigerator freezer comes with a cover as well and that's going to help keep it even cooler so i haven't put that on yet southern fin apparel actually sent me this for free to try out it's a hoodie it's got a hood in the back and it's got a pocket in the front for all you fishermen that might be nerds and want to carry a, uh, a pen in your front pocket. And it's pretty comfortable. It's long sleeve, as you can see, to protect you from the sun. And then you could put the hoodie up over your head. It's now getting cooler out, so this might come in a little bit handy. Very, very comfortable. It's Southern Fin Apparel. So check out their website here, man. They got all kinds of uh, cool stuff, all kinds of different fishing shirts and stuff like that. They are actually the reason why I started wearing these fishing shirts. Most of you guys, if you watch my earlier video, you see me wearing t-shirts and stuff like that. I no longer wear t-shirts. All I wear is fishing shirts. And so last year, Southern Thin Apparel sent me this shirt right here. And this is what got me started on the, uh, buying fishing shirts and this one's really really comfortable i've had it about a year and it's pretty freaking nice that's all i wear guys now is just nothing but fishing shirts and stuff like that they're just more comfortable they protect you from the sun and they're cool please visit southernfinapparel.com and get you some shirts guys I'll have links to all of it in the description to all these products in the description if you're interested in it right now I've just been playing around with the refrigerator freezer and the solar generator to see if it's actually going to power the fridge and it powers it just fine. Now, I don't know how long it's going to power it. I'm actually going to let this thing run until the uh, battery's dead and then I'll know just about how long it runs it. So of course it's going to be different when it's outside in the heat, but it's pretty sweet, man. I'm telling you, it's all, everything's controlled up here on the top. And right now we're running about 39 watts. And this thing's got a handle where you can pick it up and carry it, so it's pretty sweet. This comes with the plug. It also comes with a cigarette uh, adapter where you can plug it into your car. You could run it like that while you're on the, on the way to wherever you're gonna go camping and then pop out the solar panel and have it charge your battery. From what I hear, this thing can run the whole couple of days you're out there with a solar panel. Some of you guys are new to the channel, so you might not have seen my rooftop tent. So I'm gonna take you out here and show you my rooftop tent. And it sits up on a trailer. I haven't even slept in this thing yet, guys. So I took it out to the beach and opened it up, showed you guys. You can see a little bit of this footage right here. The rooftop tent is pretty, pretty sweet. It's really, really comfortable. A lot of air flow through it and everything like that. I have future plans of putting bigger tires on it and, and putting a new floor on it and just building this thing up with some cabinets and stuff to store my cookware and, and all kinds of different things. It's gonna take some time and it's gonna take some money. That is the rooftop tent. It's Smitty built. And it's pretty sweet. Let's talk about some pompano rigs. One of my subscribers is actually making me some pompano rigs. His name's Caleb. 
And uh, I want to give a shout out to Caleb out there. I appreciate it, guy. I don't have time to tie these things. I would love to make my own, but I just don't have time. But anyways, guys, I bought some, and these are expensive. Salty's Pompano Rigs. You could see the orange and white. I also have the yellow and white. And I also have the pink and white, which is on my poles right now. These things are pretty sweet. They come with colored hooks to match. And uh, you can see right here, this one's yellow, yellow hooks. And they're pretty good, but they're pretty damn expensive though. And you gotta order them from Florida and they take a while to get here. I'm still waiting on my, spunk, what, how do you call them? Sputnik sinkers that are colored, uh, six ounce. I think I got red, orange, and yellow. I'm waiting on those to get here. Now hopefully they'll be here before I go up to Austin. Um, those weren't expensive. I was surprised I got those from Fish Gum. And they had a customer appreciation day, so I got them for $3.50 a piece. And I think I got like a dozen of them uh, because I, I'm running out of weights. I'm losing weights. You know, when you go fishing at Charlie's Pasture or you go fishing off the jetties, sometimes you lose weights. So those should be here. And from what I've heard, they're pretty nice. And believe it or not, guys, color does attract fish. Everything that I've researched, and it does. And these Pompano rigs are like a hundred times better than the ones from Walmart's. I love these hooks. The hooks that are on the Walmart brand that are only two bucks, I really don't like them, but these are pretty good. I think these are uh, ones. Now, speaking about camping by yourself in the dark, <laughs> I'm a little worried about that, but I gotta do what I gotta do, right? Nobody wants to be out there in the dark all alone, but hey, it, it may be great, I don't know. And some of you guys will say, you just scared, you scared, beach bum. Uh, well, maybe a little bit uh, because, you know, today, nowadays, uh, some crazy idiots out there. Um, but appreciate you guys watching this video. Make sure you hit that subscribe button if you're watching this video for the first time and you have not subscribed. Or maybe you've been watching my videos for a while and you just haven't subscribed. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the like button. And you guys have a wonderful Thanksgiving and be safe out there and we'll see you next fishing video. Maybe I'll be able to get up there in Granger and go to Willis Creek and maybe catch some uh, small crappie or crappie or whatever out there. Uh, that's uh, If my sister ain't too busy, that's what I hope to do. So maybe I can get you a video of some freshwater fishing. Appreciate it guys for watching this. Peace.